What's up, everybody? Welcome back to T Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and today we are going over the Genesect EX, I guess the metal version that came out in Fates Collide. Uh, it's basically like a metal toolbox, but today we are mostly first focusing on the Genesect EX Attacker. Now let's go over Genesect EX and let's see what it's about. Now Genesect EX has 180 HP and it has this really cool ability, Drive Change. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may put, you may put a Pokemon tool a card attached to this Pokemon into your hand. So you're able to switch out tools any time you want to. Well, I guess once per turn you can. And it has an attack Rapid Blaster. It has 120 base, alright? And you may discard as many metal energies attached to this Pokemon as you like. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy card you discarded in this way. So if you discard 3 energies, do 160. With the Muspet, 180. If you have more metal energy en energies on there, you can obviously see how, many, how far you can go. But the cool thing is, this is a May. You don't have to discard the metal energies, and you can discard as many as you want. So if you're playing against somebody who has 130 HP, you can discard just maybe one or two to hit that 140. If you have a Muspan, band, discard one. It's, it's a very interesting uh, attack, and I really do like it a, a lot. Because a lot of times we see like stuff... Like, you have to discard all the energies to activate this. But this one is you may. You can discard as many as you like, which is really cool. And that's why I like Genesect EX a lot. Alright, so Genesect EX is our main attacker. And, of course, we're going to power him up through Bronzong with Metalinks to attach a Metal Energy from our discard pile to one of our benched Pokemon. And we do play one of the Bronzong Breaks, because why not? It has the Metal Rain attack. Basically, you discard as many Metal Energies as you want from this Bronzong. It does 30 damage for each Metal Energy you discard. And you can pick where the damage counters go. Let's say you discard uh, 4 Energies, right? Which is 120. You can either put all 4, all four 120, or all 3 damage, all, I guess, 120 damage on one Pokemon, or you can do 30, 30, 30, 30 to four different Pokemon, which is really cool. Uh, there's two Pokemon in the field that both have 60 HP. You could use Bronze on Break to knock out both of those Pokemon, which is really nice as well. It's kind of like a late game attacker to mainly, to mainly knock out a Shaman if there's one on the bench, which is really nice. We play one Aegis Slash because of the Minus Shield, making it where special energy, a Pokemon that has special energies to it cannot hurt it, which is really nice. Uh, against Night March, obviously you can use Aegis Slash. They do play Hex Maniac, but maybe you can drop it later enough in the game and they don't have any more via seekers or they have to use via seeker for juniper because they don't have a dce it's a really weird ability two shame to help set up to draw six cards in your hand one heatran just another night march kind of helper and um in the face collide there was a new card carping it has a safeguard ability making it where you it can't be hurt by ex pokemon and that's why you have heatran the steel drop does 40 and 40 more of the stadium card to play and steam blast does 130 Combines the must 150, which is not a knockout on any EX, but hey, 150 is nice to help you hit some crucial numbers. And one Drachi for the start Stardust, once again, for Night March. So for Night March, we got Heatran, Drachi, and Age Slash. Everything else, you pretty much use the uh, Genesect DX. And it's a very interesting deck. I do like it a lot. It's a, kind of like a toolbox deck, like I said. Depending on the situation, you can attack with different Pokemon. Yeah, Bronze on Break to take multiple knockouts. Maybe take your last uh, knockout if you don't have a Lysander or Via Seeker in your hand. That's all the Pokemon we play in here. We play two Love Ball to search for a deck for Pokemon with 90 HP or less, which is Bronzor, Bronzong, and Jirachi. One Super Rod to get Pokemon back into our deck. Two Switch, uh, so that way you can switch Genesect onto the Binge, then Metal Links onto it, maybe switch out the Active and with another Binge Genesect DX. Four Trainer's Mill, so that way you can look at the top four cards of our deck. Four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker, one AZ to put one Pokemon back into your hand. Maybe we need to pick up a damaged Pokemon. Maybe they license or somebody up. Maybe we need to pick up a Genesect. Uh, like, let's say we use Rapid Blaster, discard all our energies. We get AZ, pick it back into our hand, uh, send up somebody with a Flow Stone, put three energies back into this guy, and take a knockout while refreshing, like, put our uh, Genesect at new HP. And before you AZ, you can use the Drive Change to put the a tool back into your hand, which is really, really neat. One Light Standard, two in, four second more. One Skyla to search for a certain uh, card. Like, I think in this deck you have to play Skyla, so that way you can for sure guarantee, like, a Fighting Fear Bell, Muscle Band, uh, Float Stone, maybe a Love Ball, an Ultra Ball, which is really nice. One Zerosa to get rid of a tool, a special energy in play. It's always really nice to have Zerosa. You, this is always a card you can maybe get rid of, but I think it is worth it right now. Especially if your opponent does play Garboder, you can Zerosa off their Float Stone or whatever tool they have on Garboder, so that way you can Metal Links. Two Reverse Valley, and we're actually using this top side uh, to make it where we take 10 less damage by attacks, which is really nice. Make our Genesects a little bit more tankier. And we play two Fighting Fear Bell, two Flowstone, two Muscle Band. 
just depends on the situation. Uh, like I said earlier, Rifle Blaster, if you discard three, you do 160. With the Fighting Fear Belt, you do 170. With the Muscle Man, you do 180. You can switch out for a Bloodstone to retreat into a new Genesect, which is really nice as well. And it is really versatile because you have all these different tools depending on the situation. And 10 Metal Energies. And there is the Bronze Zong, or not Bronze Zong, the Genesect EX Metal deck. I did like Genesect EX a lot when the Grass version was out. The main problem with this deck right now is Greninja <coughs> using his Water Shuriken, because I'm pretty sure Greninja is not weak to steel, unless I'm crazy. Uh, yeah, it's weak to grass, so it's really hard to knock it out. You could just discard one energy to knock out the 130 HP, but once it becomes a break, you have to discard uh, three and a Fighting Fear Belt uh, to knock out a break, which is very unfortunate. And they keep using the water or the Shadow Stitching, making it where you can't use any of your abilities. It's really bad, and you can see why this deck is bad for your Genesect DX. Uh, deck, but besides that, everything else is pretty much winnable. Uh, Night March does give a little bit of trouble, but hopefully with Jarchi, uh, Aegis Sasha, and Heatran, we can take down the Night March deck. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, we're playing against TMP 200, playing a Fire and a Dark deck. Uh, I guess it could be bad if they're playing Fire, because we are weak to Fire. And uh, they could easily probably one-shot us. We'll call heads like always. And we lost the coin flip, so we'll be going second. Let's see who decides to go first. I imagine my opponent will opt to go first. Why would you not want to go first? And yep, they are going to go first. And let's see what's going to happen. All right, so we get a mulligan. They get a mulligan as well. So it looks like they're playing a Delphox break deck. Uh, I wonder what the dark is, though. Uh, okay, there's an Aegislash, Bronzor, another level ball. So we can get the Aegislash out. Um, yeah, that seems okay. Whatever. Uh, we might have to let the Aegislash get knocked out. Let's put down the Bronzor. They are going first, so they do have a, t a turn two rare candy. Uh, they do play DCEs, which, uh, you know, Aegislash cannot be hurt by DCEs because of the Mighty Shield ability. And let's try take number two. It looks like they did get a Pokemon, and they're going to put that down onto the field. Going to put those cards down unless they, yes, would draw for the Mulligan, a Muscle Band, and there is a Finnegan. Now, sadly, we cannot knock out this Finnegan. Turn number one, there's DC going to the active, making it where Mighty Shield cannot, uh, basically activate our a Mighty Shield, making it where Aegislash cannot be hurt by that. There's an Ultra Ball discarding a, it looks like a Delphox and a Fire Energy, very kind of risky, uh, discarding the Delphox early. Uh, hopefully they don't have any other... Pr I mean, I hope they have more prize. That'd be pretty great. But let's see. Did they go for a Shaman? I want to know what the Dark Pokemon is. Okay, another Finnegan coming online. Alrighty, so Finnegan coming down onto the field. And let's see what else does my opponent have. And a, just a pass. Okay, alright. I, I can dig that. Uh, we're going to Love Ball. And with the Love Ball, we're going to get a second Bronze Over. We could get a Jirachi. Uh, but we need to set up more. It looks like three Genesects are in the deck. Uh, looks like we have one Flowstone Prize and two Switch are in the deck. All right, so let's grab the Bronzor. Uh, put down the Bronzor. Use uh, Trainer's Mill. Um, da -da 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 I guess... Uh, I'm kind of tempted to get the Switch, but I really don't want to just in case we hit a, a Juniper. Or, yeah, so we'll Trainer's Mill again. Looks like we'll grab an end. Now, I know this is going to be bad because we are ending my opponent, gave him a new hand. But my opponent could also have a really good hand. They could have like a rare candy Delphox and they could just be sitting on it. You never know when they're opening hands when they don't play a supporter card. Um, but wow, it looks like we uh, didn't get anything really. Okay, so I guess we're touching metal to the active. And we'll end our turn. Alright, so on to my opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Now, we could still knock out this Finnegan turn too. Um, there's, okay, it looks like they're playing Zark, Delphox, okay. Fire energy to that Finnegan, alright. There's a Max Elixir, gonna put a Fire energy onto this guy if they hit one. Do they hit a Fire energy or not? That is the question. Let's see, do they hit one? And, looks like they did not hit one. That's very strange because... Usually they play a bunch of fires. There's an end coming down. Both of us are going to shuffle our hand into the deck and draw six new cards. Man, I need some more full art ends. If I only got find a way to get those. All right. So, this is an okay hand. Um, we could power up the Aegis Lost, like I said, this turn. Um, there's an Ultra Ball discarding a Zork and a Delphox break. Let's see what my opponent decides to get out. Does he have a Delphox and a Rare Candy in his hand? Uh, yeah, there is a Delphox. So, we're going to see a Rare Candy into the Delphox. And, yeah, that's going to happen. That is going to happen. Now, which one does the Rare Candy? Does the Rare Candy the bench or the active? Regardless, Aegislash cannot be hurt by the active. There's a Rare Candy into the Delphox in the active spot. 
And man, my opponent has all these uh, all these golden cards. They're kind of showing off. They have the rare candy. They got the ultra ball. Oh, they're actually missing one ultra ball, but they got the ends. Rare candy. I don't have any golden rare candies. But there's a love ball. Probably getting out a Braxian. And there we go. Braxian coming online. And let's see what else does my opponent have. Now, we could potentially knock out this Delphox this turn, um, which would be great. Let's see, Blaze Ball could knock us out back, though that's the only downside. Uh, but let's see what my opponent decides to do. Will we just see a pass? There's another Max Luxor coming down. Uh, I think I'll attach the, the Fire Energy to Zora, so I don't know if that was a mistake of evolving early. Like, they probably should have put the energy on this guy, but maybe they just, I don't know, maybe they didn't realize they had a Max. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But uh, Fire Energy going on to Zora. Receive a retreat into the this guy, and we can see a Destructive Flame if it has Discard Energy attached to your opponent's Act Pokemon, which could be bad, but if we get down... Uh, uh, yeah, we might still be, we could maybe knock out this Braxian this turn. Let's see, there is, okay, there's a Muscle Band. Going to this guy, so it's going to be 20, 40, 80 for the Destructive Flame. Alright, and heads, they get to discard that Metal Energy. Alright, I'm okay with that. On our turn, we get a Bronzong, so we'll put down a Bronzong. We will Ultra Ball, discard Metal and Metal. Huh, um... Let's see, I guess we have to get a Genesect. Uh, Heatran is in the deck, but there's no Stadium card to play, which is very unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, we'll grab the Genesect, okay. We will put down the Genesect. Um, we could go for a Hammer in, maybe. Ooh, six, seven, eight. That would be a knock-on on this guy. That could be special. Uh, and then we can make it where they can't... Well, I mean, I think we'd rather power up the Genesect right now. Um, I mean, they could Blacksmith... Energy attachment, knockout, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 220. Oh, buddy. Okay, uh, so maybe hammering might be the best play right now, which is very strange. Let's Metal Energy, Muscle Band, Sycamore, and okay, we don't have it yet. Uh, we'll put down a Bronzor. We will Trainer's Mill. Going to grab a switch. Oh, I think we, ha yeah, we have it now. We can get the knockout on this guy. All right, so grab the switch. We will Ultra Ball. The question is, do we get a Bronzong or do we get a Shebe? Hmm. The Bronzong guarantees us the knockout, but I think we kind of have to set up as well. So let's discard Metal and the Jirachi. And I'm going to go for a Shaman EX. I don't know how great of a play this is. We have two left. How many muscle, how many Ultra Balls are left? So two, three, one trainer's mill, 30 cards left, so three, we're going to get five, mm, could be risky, but <sighs> yeah, let's get Shaman, we have to, we have to get a Shaman, because we don't have a guaranteed supporter card for next turn, so we'll grab the Shaman, we will, I guess, uh, fight if you the Genesect, and we will Shaman setting up. Four, four new cards, and let's see, what do we get? And we got it, perfect. So we get Ultra Ball, discard the Bronzong, and the Metal Energy? Um, I think grabbing the Skylab might be the better play, like we, no, oh man, both are pretty weird to discard, because if we keep the Metal Energy, we could double Metal Inks onto Genesec next turn to knock out the Delphox Break. Um... But we might need to keep the Skyla for a support car for the following turn. So yeah, let's just get, discard these two. We will grab a Bronzong. Come to me, Bronzong. We'll put that down. We will use double Metal Inks. Alright, so Metal Inks number one. We're gonna put down the Bronzong. Yep, yeah, let's put on this guy. And on Metal Inks number two. And uh, we'll take a knockout this turn while using Bronzong. I think this is probably the best play we have. So yeah, we'll put the uh, Metal Inks on Bronzong. We will switch into the Bronzong, and we will hammer in 480. There we go. So we'll knock out the Braxian. All right. So let's see what happens. 80 damage coming down. We'll go down to five price cards, and let's see what do we get. We get a Floatstone. All right. All right. So here comes a Zora. Uh, that must mean my opponent must have a Zork in their hand or something. I guess they could Mind Jack for the knockout. Uh, there's a Delphox Break coming down, so they can use its ability to search a Fire Energy and put it into one of their Pokemon. Uh, there's the Energy Cycler. Gonna put five Energies back into the deck. Oh, two, okay. Uh, looks like the opponent's not gonna go the Blacksmith route, which I'm actually okay with this. Um, we can still knock out this, uh, this guy this turn. So, see, uh, setup, or not setup, what is it called? 
What is this ability called? Mystical Fire. Fire Energy City Active. Do they find the Zork? And there is a Zork, so they can use Mind Jack in 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. There's a Love Ball. Probably getting another Finnegan out into play. And there we go. Finnegan coming online. Okay. And we'll see a Mind Jack for Knockout. There's a Finnegan coming back down. Okay. And do they have a supporter card or not? The question is, what do we top deck? There's a VS Seeker. Forward in. Woo! All right. I am fine with this end play. Our hand was pretty garbage, but now we get a new hand of five. And let's see, what do we get off of this? All right. So we get Ultra Ball. We get a uh, Genesect. We'll probably just end up discarding the Gen We can take a knock on this guy. That's for sure. Uh, looks like we see a Flare Witch attach a Fighter G, probably to the Delphox. Hmm. Yep, going on the Delphox, okay. Hmm. There's a Mind Jack for the knockout, okay. So 160 damage. Um, my opponent got a 5 prize card, so 5 to 5 own prize cards, okay. So let's set up Age of Slash. Um. Yeah, we'll set up Age of Slash. It's probably the best play we have. On to our turn, what do we get? There is a Muscle Band, okay. Uh, we'll muscle band. Let's see. Oh man. Okay, so we can get three energies. One, two, three, three, six, nine, twelve. We can't knock out the. Oh, it has 180 HP. Ooh, that's even worse. Uh, so let's use drive change. Drive change first of all. Let's pick up that fighting free belt. Put the muscle band on it. Uh, fighting free belt. This guy. Let's Ultra Ball discard Zerosic and Genesect. And let's see what's in our deck. Um, okay, okay. Um, okay, so we're going to grab another Bronzong. We, we, yeah, that's what we really need. So grab the Bronzong. Uh, put that down on this guy. Hmm. We got a Metal Inks, uh onto this guy. So one. And two. Uh, I guess, uh, man, I'm trying to, like, contemplate, do, I guess what we'll do is we'll play Sycamore, and they'll pick up the muscle bit off the Genesect, uh, so we'll put that guy there, put that guy there, Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, okay, there's a Flowstone, uh, Lysander, hmm, part of me wants to hold on to this hand so we can knock out the Delphox next turn, uh, but, let's see, how many energies this guy needs, he needs three, right, so you can attach, Use the ability, take a knockout, okay? He has six cards in his hand. Hmm. What to do? That is the question. Oh, only once per turn. Only once during a turn, okay? So we can't use the ability one more time. Alright, so I might just pass. Let the Age Slash get knocked out. Uh, well, let's see. This guy can do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13. How much? 115, 3, 6, 9, 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Flowstone the Aegis Slash. Let's see, 3, 6, 12, uh, 13. See, I'm going to retreat into the Shaman because the opponent really can't knock out the Shaman. And we're just going to end my turn. Yeah, what we can do next turn is Lysander up the Delphox Break, take a knockout. And I think that might be the best way. It could be crazy, but I think that is the correct play to do this turn. Uh, there's a fighter to that guy. And is there any fire energies in the discard pile? There is not. So they really can't use Blacksmith this turn, which is the key thing. Uh, Mind Jack does not knock us out either. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Yeah. So Mind Jack can't knock us out. We can retreat into the Genesect. Maybe likes into this guy and take a knockout. So there's a uh, Flare Witch attack to that guy. Okay. And let's see what else do, do they decide to do. If they have a Lysander, that would be very, very bad. So here comes this guy. Do they have a Lysander or not? That is the question. Uh, have they played one at all? They have not played one, okay. And does he have it? Nope, just goes for a Blaze Ball for 110, which is not going to be a knockout. Alright, so on to our turn, we are going to... Oh, we got a Heatran as well. Heatran could do 130, 150, okay. Um, I'm going to put a Metal Energy on this guy. I am going to retreat into the Genesect. Uh, Rapid Blaster will do... 120, 140, 160, 180. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Metal Inks uh, 1 onto this Bronzong. And then we'll do another Metal Inks on the Bronzong. And what we could do is maybe get the Bronzong Breakout next turn and take all the prize cards in one turn. I'll uh, put one of this guy as well. And yeah, because 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, we need 5 energies, which could be, it could happen next turn. I uh, could happen next turn. So first of all, let's use Rapid Blaster. Uh, 120, 140, 160, 180. Yeah, that'd be a knockout. 
The Rapid Blaster, 20, 40, 60, 80, yeah. So discard Metal, Metal, and Metal. Alright, we'll press Stun. Taking the knock on the Delphox Break. We'll go down to four prize cards. Now we just gotta hope he does not evolve this Finnegan. My opponent did not play a supporter card last turn. He does not have the uh, Delphox Breakout anymore. There's an AZ coming to our hand. We could pick up the Shaman. Here comes Zorark. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, man. Uh, this could be... Okay, there's a Brigetti. Oh, man. They're gonna search deck for three... Um, what is it? Three basic Pokemon. Now, we could get, we could still get the, uh, ooh, he puts only D, only that guy down. How many Finnicas is, is he out? He's down two, three, okay. What we can do next turn is we can knock out both of these guys, uh, pretty easily. This has, what, 60? This one has 60 as well. There's a Mind Jack for 110, okay. 100, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I did math wrong or something. But there's a Metal Energy, okay. So we can Metal Energy, this guy. Okay, so, we, first of all, we got to hit this Bronze on Break. Uh, Oliver, oh, Bronze on Break's in the, oh, no, oh, no, my plan has backfired. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, okay, I made a misplay there. We should have, what is it? Oh, man, we should have, <laughs> um, what is it? We should have, um, sorry. Okay, no, we can, we still got this. We still got this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive change. Pick up the muscle band. Okay, we are going to AZ pick up this Genesect. Send the Genesect to the active. And I think we just go for a hammer in and knock out the Zorg. Hmm. Let's see, have we Metal Links? We have not Metal Links. So let's put down this guy. We have to license. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to Metal Links. Metal Energy onto the Genesect. We will Metal Links again onto the Genesect. Man, I forgot our Bronze Dog Breakers prize. That's my bad. Uh, we should have probably VS Seeker for Sky Luster and for the Super Rod. Oh, man. So we'll put that there. Whoa, we will, we will Lysander. We've already AZ'd. Oh, my goodness. I messed up so many things this turn. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. We, uh, we, I made some misplays. Made some misplays. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna must ban this guy. No, oh man. <sighs> okay. Trying to think. Alright, so we're gonna must ban this guy. We'll hammer in for 80. Man, I I I messed up there a lot that turn. Whoop, that was just me. It, oh man, I just tried to do too many things at once. Alright, so that's my opponent's turn. If he doesn't, man, okay, so there's a Flowstone, gonna go into the Zora, alright. There's a DC on that guy, okay. Hmm. Well, the good thing is, okay, so there's a Mind Jack, he's gonna knock us out to 130, he's gonna go down to 4 prize cards. Alright, we'll send up the Aegislash. Yeah, because he got the Flowstone, okay. On to our turn, what do we get? We get a Reverse Valley, alright? So we'll put the Reverse Valley down. Uh, I guess it, uh, well first of all, we need a VS Seeker for Skyla. Okay, Skyla's not in the discard pile. I thought it was. So, we'll grab an N. Man, dude, I don't, like, I don't want to grab an N though, because my opponent hasn't been playing supporter cards. I guess we haven't played our Skyla like we thought we did. Uh, so let's grab an N. We will put down the Reverse Valley. Uh, let's turn it this way, so that way we don't draw until we press done. We could use Heatran this turn. Oh, we've already... Are we Metal Links? We have not Metal Links. Well, we only get one energy down this turn. So let's just go for an N. Or do we go for a Lysander? Oh, man. Because we go for Lysander, we take a knock on this guy. And that way he doesn't throw a knockout. Uh, so yeah, let's just, let's just be safe. Let's Metal Links. On to the Genesect. We will Lysander up this guy. Free Retreat. To this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to VS Seeker for AZ. So that way he cannot knock out our Shaman this turn. Uh, so yeah, let's grab the shame, uh, the AZ. Pick up that Shaman. So that way he does not take a knock on it. I've already played a supporter card. I've already played Lysander. Oh my goodness. I keep thinking of... Oh my goodness. I just keep doing misplays. Alright, so we'll do 100 damage to this. Uh, no, we'll not discard any of those energies. We'll do 100 damage to that Finnegan. Okay. Man. I just keep wanting to do too many things. Uh, we'll take a knock on that guy. The Zork cannot knock out of Genesect. There's a Love Ball. I don't think we have any more Bronzors left. Yeah, all of our Bronzors are in play. So on top opponent's turn. Alright, so, uh, uh, so 3, 6, 9, 10. That's the max he can do this turn. Uh, there's a DC going to that guy. Okay. 
Hmm. There's a Hex Maniac to shut down abilities. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. And there's a Mind Jack. Okay, for 100 damage. All right. So, on to our turn. We got to flow. So, now how many DCs is it down? And my opponent can see to the game. What? What's going on? All right. So, this is what I was going to do. I was going to be a Seeker for Zerosic. I know it's in the discard pile. I was going to Zerosic that DCE. Knock out that... Um, the Zork make it where he couldn't attack. I know my opponent didn't play that many sporter cards, but man, I had to think a lot that game. I kind of misplayed a little bit, but there we go. We took down the Delphox break deck. I mean, let's see, cards drawn. He's still nearly three cards less than me. He saw about the same amount of cards as we did. My opponent did a lot more damage than we did, uh, but our biggest attack was 180 damage. All right, so there we go. We took down the Delphox break Zork deck. That's pretty crazy. He only played 16 trainers. We played 23, uh, but like I said, we would have knocked out the Zoroark, would have Zoroark that DCE off, and I think that was his second DCE, and the question is how many DCEs does he play, let's find out right now, and he plays, oh, four DCE, so he could have easily, maybe got another DCE, I'm not 100% sure, it depends what was in his hand, he didn't have much in it of anything, he kind of just sat there and kind of dead drew, uh, but we'll take those. But there we go. There's Genesect taking the game against the Delphox break deck. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully my opponent does not can see the game. And we'll see what happens. Alright, printing gets Charger, Garchomp. Playing a Fairy and a Colors deck. Oh. Oh no, they're playing a Fairy deck. Um, the reason I'm saying oh no is because I'm like 99% sure a Fairy is weak to steal. Um, and that's not going to be good for my opponents. Alright, so we get a uh, Bronzor. We get a Flowstone in Switch. Alright, so my opponent has no basic Pokemon. Let's see. Show me the money. Alright, so it's a Mega Gardevoir Aromatizzi deck. Alright, so they're going to draw seven new cards in their hand. And let's see, what do they have? Okay, well, another Mulligan. Alright, but they are going first, so they can't turn one in us to give us a uh, maybe a worse hand. I mean, regardless, it looks like we're just going to play it in either way. Unless we hit this Ultra Ball right here. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Yeah, we'll draw another card in. There is no Ultra Ball. Alright, so there's a Xerneas and a Spritzy. Now, we can't Skyla turn one for an Ultra Ball. Uh, I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to Skyla turn one for an Ultra Ball. And let's see. Let's see what's in the disc. Okay, there's two Bronzors, three Bronzong, three Genesects, one Heatray, one. Uh, okay, so we have pretty much everything that we need. AZ is a Rosix in here. There's two Switch, two Flowstone. Um, looks like. Oh, well, I don't know what's prized. One VS Seeker? No, I don't know. But we'll grab a we'll grab an Ultra Ball. Maybe some Love Balls are prized or something. So we'll Ultra Ball discard double metal. That seems great on turn one. We will grab another Bronzor. Now, my opponent really can't take a knockout next turn unless they play DCE. Not even DCEs. Like, they need more stuff. So, we're going to end my turn. Almost my opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Now, we can float stone the Bronzor, play a switch, hopefully hit a Genesect. And there we see a Geomancy. So, it looks like my opponent doesn't have anything, but we will have to end them next turn, which is very bad uh, because it looks like they are dead drawing. So, they're going to put an energy onto that Spritzy. And let's see what's going to happen. All right, on our turn, we get a Love Ball. So now we can get a Bronzong out and play. I thought we prized these, but it looks like we didn't. Uh, there's another Love Ball as well. So we got the Bronzong. We'll put the Bronzong onto the field. Uh, put down the Floatstone. And part of me wants to put down the Reverse Valley so we don't draw into it. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll flip it around. Press done. And we will use in. And with this in, can we find another Bronzong and a Genesect? There's an Aegislash, Genesect. Okay, we still have Trainer's Mouth. So let's see what the Trainer's Mouth gets us. Can we find an Ultra Ball or a Love Ball? And there is an Ultra Ball. All right. So we're going to grab the Ultra Ball. We will Ultra Ball, discard Bronzor and the Aegislash. And let's see. We either go for a... Shaman. Oh, it looks like we prized our Shaman. That's one of the cards we did prize. So let's grab a Bronzong. We will put down Bronzong, put down Genesect, and this is not going to look good for my opponent. We'll put down Genesect, Muscle Band, Metal Energy, Double Metal Links onto this guy. And we don't have to discard the energies because he is weak to still. Uh, regardless, no, he has 130 HP, but still, I mean, we don't have to discard it because he is weak to metal. So we'll put another one there. We will. 
free retreat into the Genesect, and we will use Rapid Blaster. Uh, no press done. We should do 240 damage to this Xerneas. There we go, 240 on a Xerneas. Uh, regardless, we would have done 180 damage to pretty much knock out anybody. Uh, there's a Shaman as well, so it looks like we are doing great. Uh, even this wasn't like a Fairy deck, like I said, we could have Rapid Blaster for 20, 40, 60, plus the Muscle Man, 180 damage to knock out any EX. There's a Guard of War coming down. We have a Shaman, so we can set it for six new cards in our hand. And if we had a license to bring up that uh, the Gardevoir, my opponent is not going to be happy. There's an Ulsh Ball. Go ahead and discard a double VS Seeker, which is really bad. Those other cards must be really good if he decided to hold on to them. Because usually you want to save your VS Seekers. But there's a Xerneas coming down. Okay. Xerneas coming down. There's a Fairy Garden to give his Fairy Pokemon for retreat. A fair energy to Xerneas. We'll see retreat. And what is that one card in his hand? It must be something... Okay, we'll just see a Geomancy. So once again, my opponent not playing any supporter cards. There's a fair energy to Gardevoir. And a fair energy probably to the Spritzy. All right. So he's getting those three energies out. Oh, to our turn. We have a Shaman. Can we hit a Life Standard? There's a Metal Energy. Why not? Let's put that on the active. And let's Shaman setting up for six. Hold new cards in our hand. And let's see what happens. Okay. We got an AZ, uh, Lava Ball. Okay. Alright, so we will Lava Ball. Yeah, you know, grab a Lava Ball to get another Bronzor. Oh, okay, there are no Valor cards. So we, uh, looks like we did prize a Bronzor. Uh, did we discard one? We did discard one. No, we could have just super on get back into play. Whoops, that's my bad. Alright, so there's no Valor cards. I forgot that. We, it I should have checked to see if we prized or we discarded or not. Well, AZ, pick up Shaman. We will Super Rod to shuffle back in uh, Bronzor and Aegis Slash. That's pretty much all we need. Okay. We'll put down Genesect. Put down Shaman. Setting up for four whole new cards. Yes. And let's see. What do we get? We can still Ultra Ball. Discard the Metal Energy. And that's a pretty good hand. So we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard uh, Sycamore and the Metal Energy. We already have an end in the discard pile. So we might as well put a Sycamore in there. We'll grab a Bronzor. And now we can like start Triple Metal Leaks. Which is not going to be good for my opponent. And we have a switch for next turn whenever we want to. Uh, so that's Metal Links number one. I think we only have one in there. We'll put on the other Genesect. We could go for a giant Genesect, but we need to play safe just in case my opponent does knock us out next turn. And let's use Drive Change to pick up this multi uh, the Muscle Man. Let me see my opponent can see the game. I was going to pick up the Muscle Man just in case my opponent did get a Guard of War out next turn. I don't think he could have knocked us out, but I'd rather play safe than sorry. So there we go. There's Genesect. Uh, bronze on deck. We did take down a Delphox deck, which is our weakness, and we beat that. My opponent did concede the game uh, pretty late into it, but I guess they must have had a bad hand. They didn't manage the resources very carefully, and we saw my opponent really not do anything here as well. But you can see how strong the deck was. Like this turn two, we had 180 damage going to dealt to any EX, which would have knocked out pretty much anybody because my opponent could not have evolved turn one unless it was Mega Rayquaza, which they could because the uh, the Delta trait or whatever it's called. But there you go. Hopefully, this episode of Main Deck Monday, seeing the power of the Gen Genesect Bronze on deck. I think this deck is really strong. It does get kind of shut down by Hex Maniac because obviously you can't Metal Links anymore. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.